welcome to uh, Watercolor Studio 42, and uh, I'm still on, on my uh, fall journey here, uh, autumn uh, pictures. Uh, what I like about the fall colors uh, is that uh, there, uh, there's a multitude of color out there, and uh, this year, I, I think the trees around here sort of were a little bit late, but um, I know further north, they're usually about two weeks ahead of us on the color, the change of color. But we had some pretty cool nights. So anyways, well, I kind of got started a little bit because I found that in the past here, um, I didn't let my background uh, have enough time to dry. So what I did, I, I usually sketch this out very light. You can probably hardly see it on television. I sketch it out light in pencil. Sometimes I go over uh, with a uh, permanent marker, and I might still do a little bit of that with the marker. But uh, I'm gonna see if I can get as far as I can. Uh, this particular photograph I, I found in my pile my collection. I've been trying to sort everything out by subject. And uh, I found this, and I thought it was uh, uh, South, uh, not South, but North Main Street, uh, across from Blackington in there. And there's a little park next to Narby Craft, it used to be Narby Craft. And uh, so um, I thought that was the, uh, the scene, and then I just happened to notice on the back with light pencil, it says uh, Arnold's Mill, and that's towards uh, uh, Cumberland, out that way. And uh, every year they have a big parade, I guess it's around 4th of July and so forth. But uh, this was a, uh, uh, a picture of, uh, in the background, it used to be like a dam there, and I think some of that broke down uh, and the water kind of is pretty free to r run at will. And uh, the uh, the little shop that they had there uh, was like a, a gift, gift shop or whatever. And that was open for quite a while, but I don't think they uh, are open now. I think the whole area down there uh, where the Gristmill uh, building and the wheel was, that's all closed off, but, uh, uh, and closed up, I should say. So, but uh, the picture itself is almost monochromatic. That means it's almost one color. You could do the whole thing with just brown, uh, really, uh, whatnot. So anyways, I started off, and I, I put a light wash in there, and then uh, there's still a little bit of a trickle of water, so I'll probably use a, a smaller brush here. I'm just gonna indicate where you might notice some water through all the trees and whatnot. Let's see, I think my, I think my blue is over here somewhere. No, that's not, uh, move this. Let's see where we are here. Ah, there we are. Okay, I'm just gonna put just a little bit, you see a little bit of uh, blue into this area, right in there, and then there's uh, over here where the, uh, I guess it used to be like a dam there, uh, where it broke through, there's a little bit of a area of blue showing up in that, this part. And that's about all you see of the water. And then mostly it's surrounded by bushes and trees and whatnot. Now, this particular picture, like I said, has a, a lot of different shades of uh, beige, brown, and all that in it. And uh, so I'm going to uh, probably introduce a little bit more color to it than uh, the photograph has. And uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, this, I think there's still a little part of this, the dam. It was, I think it was built out of cement. I haven't been down there for so long. I forgot what, what, what it actually, the materials they use for the dam, but uh, that's usually 
built out of stone and cement and whatnot back then, quite a few years ago. So that's going to be located in this area. It goes over here, and right it's hardly noticeable in the photograph, but this is where the wall is broken down and the water comes through on this, this, this side. There's not much water that runs through there now, uh, but, uh, and then a lot of this is going to be a, a darker shades, much, much, much darker. I'm going to have all of this, oops, I got into my blue again. I don't want that. <laughs> we don't need that one. When I look down at my colors here, they all look the same on the palette. But uh, we, we can fix that up. Good thing it's watercolor. I can cut, fill it in. I'm going to just spread some of that around. It won't be quite as noticeable. I'm just going to hide it a little bit. Blot some of that out. There you go. All right. Just have it fade away there. That's the beauty of watercolor. You can build it up different layers. Yeah, let's try that again with some of this uh, dark color on top of it. That's better. We'll hide that. We don't want that much blue in there. But uh, it is quite dark. It's all dark up into the corner here. And then it lightens up a little bit out and through here. I'm just going to just blot that a little bit in there. That's better. Okay. Like I said, uh, watercolor, you can kind of catch it and blot it out and hide it and so forth. You, you get the wrong shade on there. On the palette, all the darker colors, they look all the same until you put them on the paper. I'm going to go, go across the bottom here. I'm just going to fill all of this in. In the picture, in the photograph, it's all shrubs and bushes in there. I think there's, a little, there's probably a few little tree trunks popping through. Maybe I can lift some of that out just to show some of the trunk. A little bit too wet right now to and do much with. Okay, let's go across here. All, all filled in across the bottom. Yeah, I've been doing quite a few autumn pictures lately. Sometimes I put, put, put some, of the, some of the lighter box in, the, you know, some of the birch, birch trees integrated in all the wooded area. This is all dark up and through here too. Oh, this is very dark. Wiggle the brush around in there. Kind of make it interesting, the, you know, the contour. It's supposed to be all sort of bushes and trees in there, so sometimes you have to just kind of break it up a little bit. Wiggle the brush around in through here. Dark in the, over in this corner also. Take some of that across here. Right. And it goes up a little bit there. I, I kind of almost covered some of that blue I put up in there.
I use uh, white acrylic sometimes if I have to cover an area that I've filled in. Uh, kind of white out, white it out a bit if I have to. Quite a bit of background there. Now sometimes if I get a water stain on the paper, like something like that settling in, because I've, I've got the paper flat, so when it's flat, it doesn't gravitate down too much, so you end up having a few water stains there. You can have some fun with a piece of credit card I have in there too. You can kind of pull it around a little bit and create more uh, the texture of the wood. Just go right out to the edge. Sometimes I put a, a margin around. I haven't been using that uh, tape too much around that. Sort of a false margin. I just go right out to the edge. Across the bottom. Now, a lot of times I'll leave it lighter than the photograph because it, it, it realistic, uh, real, um, realistically, it's not that dark. That's that's the way the camera picks up, picks it up. You take a photograph, and a lot more dark in there. It's really dark in this corner. Now sometimes you could take a little bit of red too and add it, that into the brown and it mix it on the surface just to add a little oomph to it. And take some of that red, put it over into here too, on this side. When you repeat a color, sometimes it it shows that it, that wasn't an accident, you know. See, you get another color. I'm gonna just clean that, some of that red out of there. But you can put, put the red into that, and that can go into this area, too. Usually what happens, I, I add more color to my pictures than actually probably what the photograph picks up, which is fine, that's okay. All right. We'll cross over here. We'll fill all of this in. We'll leave a little patch of the uh, the blue in there. This has a lot of a lot of background to it. I think the light is coming in. I'm going to have it just coming in from uh, probably the right side. It seems like it's a little lighter that coming this way. Let's go up the side here. Maybe make some of the contour shape of the leaves on the tree. Come down through here. Now you could take, uh, like I said, if I can find one in here, you could take a, a, a credit card. I also keep my erasers in, in this container here too. But uh, I just take a piece of credit card sometimes. If you want to show some of the, the bark of a tree to come out, you, you can just pull some of that, pull that out. It has to be a little bit wetter than that. Like if I put a tree up in there, you can kind of pull that out, show a, a, little, a little bit lighter on the bark. Just push that. You know, when you want it to work, sometimes it doesn't do it as well, but you, you see how that can come out, show some of the contour of the tree in there. You can also put a dent in there to score the paper. 
Let me just see if I can lift some of this out. Maybe I can. Makes it see some of the trunks of the trees showing through in there. You know, not working as well, but nevertheless. If you get the idea how that works. I'm just going to go up here with some of the, one of the branches kind of develop the trunk of the tree down and through here. There's going to be a lot of bushes in through all this area. Okay, now um, I'm getting some interesting color. This red is something else, huh? Let's go right down to the edge here. I put some of that red, take some of that red out and push it up into this area. Now sometimes I get a water stain because the paper is lying flat, the water can't move one way or the other, so sometimes you get a water stain, I just leave it in there. Let's go up into here some more, get some of that contour, more of the shape of the, uh, the leaves. And now through here, I'm gonna keep that lighter up in that area. See how it works out. Okay, you kind of get the idea of, you know, sometimes when you're doing this, it's almost at a point where, hey, maybe I shouldn't, <laughs> maybe I should stop here. <laughs> it looks not too bad. I think we've got to add just a little bit more, though. Yeah, a little bit more texture and to find the, uh, some of the trunks of the tree a little bit more. I'm gonna go right to the edge, down here on the edge. You can see how when you lock it in with a map, uh, mat rather, not a map, but a mat, how that works out. Okay. Kind of obscured that a little bit. All right, now, that's a pretty good water stain there. Some, like I said, sometimes I just kind of break it up or leave it in there. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of times I tried pushing this around with a piece of plastic, but sometimes if it doesn't work, I just use a little bit of white paint and bring out some of the lightness that way. There's gonna be another tree. I'm, I think I'm gonna have a couple of trees, something going this way and that way. You can put those in. See, you know, yeah, we'll put this going up into here. Whoops. <laughs> Too wet. I'm going to leave that alone for a while. I can score that, though. I could, you take the credit card, and you can just take the corner <coughs> sharp point of the credit card and just score that and the, the paint that's wet will settle into that and it makes it look like uh, bushes. Let's make it look like some bushes in there. See how the paint settles into that area. A lot of people wonder how, how do you get that effect uh, of things uh, in there like that and 
it's very easy. You, you score it, you make a dent, and then when you go over it with paint, the uh, paint just settles into that area. See where you, you so the, it brings out the uh, the branches. Okay, you can do a lot of that. And if you have to hide it, sometimes if you don't want to see that, you can just hit it with some white and then repaint it after it dries a bit. I like that. I like that effect I got in there. Maybe I'll score it a little bit more. Just take the point of your piece of plastic and just cut up through there. And draw like the branches. Then go over it with the uh, paint, and the paint settles into those uh, areas that you've cut into the paper. You have to make make sure the uh, edges are kind of interesting. Go around here. Uh, this I probably might have to do something else. Take some of that out of there. Sometimes I leave it in, but it's, it's n not there in the photograph, so I just take that out of there. Okay, you can kind of see, this is kind of pretty good, interesting texture that we're working on. Now, in the foreground, I could still use that uh, piece of uh, plastic, and I'm going to just cut into this a little bit uh, and, and make some branches in the, coming out of here, too. Let's hit that with a little bit of paint and see what happens. Yep, it, it, the branches showing up in there. Okay, you can do all sorts of texture that uh, whatever you want to work with. Um, what's interesting about watercolor is that, you know, you can look at a picture and, and start painting and then all of a sudden, uh, if you like what you're doing, you don't have to copy uh, the uh, p photograph. Use a photograph just kind of as a reference uh, if you're looking for something that, that you can put in your picture, sometimes I just stipple that on the end too. With a, you could use a sponge too. I use a, a natural sponge, you know, not the manufactured sponge, but a natural sponge that, you know, that goes in the ocean, of course. Yeah, just go up into here. You get the idea of how that kind of works out. Even in the photograph, you know, it takes away, uh, as you look further off, there's less detail. You just see kind of more or less of just a contour shape of some of the uh, leaves and, sh and trees. We'll go across in here. That's yeah, just a lot of texture in here. Sometimes I just tap, tap in through here a bit, get that worked in. It's a lot of leaves and stuff. It looks like on this tree, a lot of leaves have fallen off the tree. So, having said that, now I suppose um, I'm going to go, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go a little bit with a, a smaller, uh, smaller brush, a smaller brush in here somewhere. This looks like it might do the trick. And uh, I'm going to just take a little bit of my uh, 
white acrylic. And uh, see what we could do here. I want to get a little bit more of the, uh, the bark on some of the trees. Oops, a little bit much here. Um, do a little bit of the bark on the trees and where I see some uh, a little bit of white showing through. Now you can use uh, a little bit of uh, brown, mix that in with the uh, white, so you don't get a real white white. And there's a tree, this tree here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of white into it. So it's gonna show up through here a little bit more. And there's another one. Actually, these could be become birch trees, so I think this tree here is going to have a little bit more white into it. Maybe I'm putting this on too soon. I don't want the white to spread out too much. Put a little bit of uh, brown in it. So it's a little bit of an off-white. And then a little bit on this one. They're going to kind of go off up, up into here. Um, there's a little bit of something here. We'll put some, some white in there. Kind of break that up some, a little bit more on this one. Oh, that's too much. <laughs> Have to tame that one down, huh? Yeah, just give it a little blot. See, oh, there you go. We can take that out of there. <laughs> Get carried away. Well, uh, soften that out. Start over again when it dries more. And if you want, you can kind of touch it up a little bit more. You drop some more texture in there just to break it up. You can do that anywhere. Now, um, let's put a little bit more white into there here. Get a little bit more texture in there. Now, um, this tree here doesn't show up as well. So what you do, Take a little bit of that darker color and you put it on the side of the tree and pull back. And pull back, oops. Yeah, yeah. Pull back away from that. You can go up like that. And just take that and pull that back into here. Bit more, take some of that away from it, pull back away from it. And hopefully that's going to show up a little bit more than it, or make it thinner anyways, than it was. This tree here kind of disappeared too, right into here. So again, you're going to take a little bit more, your darker color. And this one, we want to make this one show up a little bit more. And just put a little bit more in there. All right. Spread this around. It's a little bit of a uh, paint gray. Oops, you had a little bit more darker shade in there. Now you can put a tree in, uh, more trees any, any way you want. Just paint on this side, that, that side, leave a little bit of the, uh, leave it open a little bit more on either side. The eye can put the, make the branch show up in there. 
and just spread this around a little bit more. Yeah, just wiggle it around. It's supposed to be all leaves in there. But if something doesn't show up, you have to just paint, paint dark on both sides and make it show up again. Just kind of, I want to clean that up in here a little bit more. Yeah, and wiggle some of that out. Okay. Interesting texture. Now, I want this, um, I want this uh, part of the dam to show up a little bit more. It comes out over here. You see a little bit of it here, and it's, it's broken off right down there. So you show a little bit of that in there. Take, take away some of that edge. You could kind of walk, I, as I remember, I think you could go a little bit out on, on top of that. I'm not sure. Uh, whether that would be safe enough to do. It was, it's not a very uh, tall dam. I don't think it's more than, oh, I don't know, about five foot if that. Okay, it goes in back of the tree. Comes out over here. kind of hit some of this uh, water in here. So maybe we have to put a little bit of white back into that, that spot. And maybe a little bit more of that blue we can put back. Have it run off in there somewhere. I know, I know it, there's hardly any water that kind of goes over the edge. And uh, I think probably, I haven't been down in there because they've closed it off now where the store used to be. But um, probably this summer, the water really slowed down quite a bit. The tree going back up into there. A little bit wider in here. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of bushes and trees. I'm gonna go off, branch off into here. See if I can get this. It's kind of lift up as you go out, so it goes from thick to thin. There's another tree that kind of has fallen over, leaning over into here. You can add a lot of texture in through here. There's a lot of woodland. Uh, you can break this up in here with something. Get a little bit more paint on the brush, that would help. Go up in there, break it up into here. Uh, still wet, it's, it's kind of blurs. And I can certainly do more with this area. I can do a lot more with this. Have it go off, thick to thin. Something else in here. Another tr tree coming up into there. Go off that way. 
Okay. Now, this here, I put it in, it's kind of the white kind of jumps out at you a little bit. So you might have to take uh, just a pinch of something and just probably go over that a little bit later and quiet it down. Um, see, on the wall here, you probably put a little bit of texture, more texture into that. Part of the uh, broken dam there. Um, okay, and you get all sorts of things running off different directions. We can have some more. Let's make the trunks show up a little bit more in through here. Oops. That's a little bit too much. <laughs> I blocked that. Catch that in a hurry. Wow. Getting back to the blue again. <laughs> I'll put a little bit of color into that. Kind of mix it around. There should be a little bit more uh, color in the trees anyways. This, this uh, depicts the trees as being a little bit on the browner side. Okay, just add a little bit more texture. Now I want to show a bit more down here around the base of the tree. And uh, we can we could add a lot more in in here too. Um, maybe a little bit more texture here. Put some of that uh, grayish color in there. It just gives you an idea a little bit how that goes. There's a lot more texture in through here. I think I can make this tree trunk come down further. I think this one can come into here more. The base of the tree, it's supposed to be everything. Some of these are supposed to be on this side. And, and they cut up into this area. So I'm just going to extend them, the, the trunk of the trees a little bit more. And add a little bit more color to quiet them down on the trunk. Same way on this one. Just to quiet it down a bit. And uh, we could have a lot of shrubs and things around the base of this that uh, we could add in. This is kind of solid through here. We'll break that up. a little bit more texture in that and see what else we can do. Okay, take some of that out. Just a matter of just adding you know, a little bit more texture here and there. What I have to do sometimes is let some of these areas dry before I try to go back in because sometimes what happens is it kind of gets smudgy. Yeah. And 
a lot more, a lot more going on. This kind of jumps out a little bit much over here too. So I just quiet that down, pull some of that darker color out, put some darker color in here, spread it around. I think I'm gonna use a larger brush, pull that around a little bit more. A lot of texture. You, you can see how that works. Come down through here. This could be a little. Uh, this could be bushy in through here too. Okay, break that up a bit. Now this is a little bit on the wet side, so it's going to be hard to kind of put back some of the uh, thinner uh, parts of the tree because it's going to smudge a lot. Okay. Fix this up a little bit in here. Now somewhere I had a, a rigger, my little tiny rigger somewhere. Ah, there you go. Now I could probably get away with putting a, a few more branches in and make them a little bit more show up a little bit more. Let me pull this out in here. Uh, something else going out of there. This can be extended out, break that up. A lot of uh, fussy texture here. Not fussy, but just a lot, lot of uh, of texture. A lot of branches. I'll put that going off that way, and then maybe I could sneak in a little bit of contrast in there. Show a little bit more of that uh, trunk of the tree showing up in here through here. Okay. Let's see what else. Oh, you can make this a little bit more noticeable. And I go up and up in here. See how you could kind of pull this out and um, A little bit more contrast in there. Okay. Put some center, something in here. There you go. Okay, um, I think I'm going to give that a little chance to uh, dry out. Let's put some shrubs or something down into here. Have some, some things growing up in here. If I, I don't like that as much, probably. 
was kind of scratchy there. So, take some of that out of there. Wiggle it around. So it's not quite as noticeable. Okay. Let's see, what else here? There's always a, there's always a little bit more to do. Oh, most, most paintings. But uh, you do have to know when to stop also. <laughs> you, you don't want to overdo it. So that's, that's very important. Try to put some rocks in there or something. Go across over here. Okay. Now I've added a little bit more color. I think I've added some more color into this than, than you see in the uh, photograph. Whether that's a good idea, I'm not sure. It looks, uh, all I know is that what I've got to do is uh, let it set up a little bit more. Now, if you, if you don't like, uh, if you don't like that to be too much of a, that blue showing up, we can take some of that sepia, and I think I can take some of that, a little bit of that blue out of there if you don't like it. You don't probably want to see so much of that. A little bit, oh, some more over here too. You know, you may not want to see some of that. I think sometimes it shows up a little bit too much. I would rather see it more of a reddish color than maybe too much of the gray color in there. Take some of that out. Erase it. Hide it. I kind of j always jump around a lot when I'm doing a painting. And when I look at it the next day, it, it looks totally different. And uh, uh, sometimes it, it, it looks better. A lot of times it looks better after it's dried out. And everything has uh, probably lightened up a bit. And uh, hopefully it looks better. Like I said, this is this is overgrown quite a bit. I would imagine uh, because uh, the little gift shop was over in there somewhere, 
and uh, nobody's been in there. They've got it pretty well roped off or whatever. I guess you can walk down in there, but you can't drive down in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to lighten up the bark on the trees, but right now, I think I'm going to leave that and let it dry out better because it gets kind of frustrating a lot of time when you're trying to get something that's hold a shape and all of a sudden it, just, it blurs out because the background's still uh, wet. So that's just getting there. Um, it just has to be, the picture itself is kind of uh, dark into around here anyways. It's uh, around the tr base of the trees. So what you have to do is just kind of clean it up a bit. Uh, I may add another, uh, another tree or so. But I think the base of the tree uh, actually comes down, you want it to be on this side. And this one's got to become a little longer in through here so that they're, they're actually on this this side of the the dam. And uh, the, the dam is more or less in back of that. Um, whether I like this particular texture right here, kind of working from what the, the information from the photograph. Probably I should take another look someday if I ever can get over there and uh, take a look at what's, how it's grown up, or uh, grown over, if you will, <laughs> from, from being abandoned. Um, that's probably the case. See where we're going here. Yeah, well, I don't want to get into this too much because I don't want to overdo it. But I do want the, the trunks of the tree to come down in here. Um, this is one of these pictures that I, I have to kind of fine tune. And I'll bring it back next week. Some of the pictures I do, I put on the uh, uh, display easel. And uh, sometimes I touch them up, and sometimes, like I said, they look okay when you look at them the next day. There's not much else you have to do. But... Um, If there's anything that you have to touch up, is probably, uh, I think in this case, that probably makes it, the trees that are supposed to be over here a little bit more uh, stronger, show, have them show up better. And uh, maybe the ground can be darker through here in the foreground. Maybe, uh, make like a boulder or something, some rocks in through here, just to kind of break it up a little bit. And uh, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. But I will bring this one back next week and uh, we'll see how I can touch that up a little bit more. I want this tree to, the trunk of the trees to be more visible on this side and uh, maybe do a little bit of background work. But other than that, it's uh, not, not bad. Okay. So anyways, brushes up, grab a brush.
precious up and we'll see you next time. Thank you for being with us.